Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crap Show, where today we have part six of Wonder Boy Monster World. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I did look it up, and um, I did make sure uh, the whole use with the Charmstone thing, which we found uh, one at the end of the last episode. Um, yes, if you have one... He will give you a heart. If you have two, he will give you magic. Um, and I think he gives you a full set, I think? So like, one of each essentially, increasing everything by three uses. Um, I'm not sure if that counts for a return, but it might. Um, it might just be the three that he has on his wall being Thunder, Firestorm, and Quake, but I don't think it is. Um, so, that being said, I don't see myself grinding for 500,000 gold. Um, that would take quite a bit of time, and realistically, I'm just not going to do that, but I did find out for sure um, 12 uses is the maximum on at least some of the magic. Supposedly all of the magic you can have up to 12, uh, which they said in order to max out uh, all your magic you need a total of 6 charm stones. Um, and I think the one I found is the only one in the game that can be found. I could be wrong on that. So the rest of them you would have to buy. So I believe the best way to grind those would probably be the Ice Castle. That's probably the secret they were talking about because you can get the big bags of gold from the monkey enemies in that one area. So, yeah, I don't know. If you guys have a preference, uh, let me know about which one to do. I mean, I've played this game quite a few times, and I'll tell you right now, the most useful spell in the game is power. Um, especially for bosses and the like. And the final boss is a bit of a doozy, so having extra power spells might be really helpful. And I don't really want to waste the money on uh, high potions, so I'm just going to buy another holy water, because that's 200 gold as opposed to 5,000 gold. So, and uh, I don't know where this guy gets his supply, but I'm pretty sure he always has a charm stone for sale. Which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah. If I were to do one of those, I, I think I would rather wait and um, get another charm stone. And get the magic. Because to my understanding, he does give you a full set. Like, one of each, all six of the magic. So. That being said, it's pygmy time, except it's not, because we need to get our little dragon buddy first. So yeah, hope you guys are having a great day. Ready to sit back and chill with some 16-bit jams. And some 16-bit danjo. I don't know what it is about 16-bit art, but to me, this visual style is just timeless. Oh crap. Because Wonder Boy 3, um, I don't really ever go back to the Sega Master System version. Usually just play the, uh, the Lizard Cube and, um...
uh, .mu um, remaster, remake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with Firestorm and maybe Quake, but there's a lot of airborne enemies here, so I'll just use those until we have, um, I don't know, other stuff. I think a lot of the enemies in here actually do drop, um, ooh, extra power. Dude, nice. Yeah, fire is understandably not very effective on these guys. Wait, do they drop it every... Oh my goodness, do they drop every time? Stop. I may have been completely wrong about best places to grind. This might be it. might be easier in here without the Dragon Buddy. Because you can't deal damage if he's dealt damage simultaneously. The game just doesn't register it. Do all the enemies drop big bags of gold? This is awesome. Hits don't count because he's breathing fire, so. Kinda lame. So, I mean, if you want to avoid the enemies, he's helpful, but. If you're, uh. If you're not going that route. Not the bait. Not the best companion. Oh my goodness. Magic. Thank you. Been playing quite sloppily. Sloppily. Sloppily, though. So. I do have an elixir, but I definitely don't want to have to use it. Oh, come on. Wait, how did I use both? Oh man, I didn't mean to use Quake. Or right, whatever. Oh jeez. Stop. No, I'll just let him take care of it. It's fine. aren't really worth it. So them I'm just gonna avoid. Oh. 
Wow, that does not work very well. Oh, come on. Okay, made it. Call you somebody say I'm cursing. It isn't quite cursing. I am so screwed. Get the other one. Get the other one. Snakes might be... I just want to check something. Oh, those guys don't drop anything. heal. That's sick. If I remember correctly, this is actually a fake outdoor, but I'm going to take it anyway. It's a fast exit, in case you need it, I guess. Oh, mother... No, 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 this is right before the... Oh my goodness, stop. Right? Right before the final room? Yeah, it is. Okay. downside here, obviously, is, um, almost out of magic, and I don't have a potion outside of my elixir, which is actually fine by me. So, yeah, I'm not bringing the dragon kid next time. I'll just get the... Get them on the iframes, and they counterattack like as soon as their iframes are done. That's a boss door. The tyrant dragon! Lo and behold, the little dragon's gone. Wait, isn't it up here I'm supposed to? I guess you're just not allowed to have... Or maybe he refused to, like, fight with you. It's like, it's like no, that's a respected dragon in our culture. Like, I'm not gonna help you. Um, I'm curious, does going in here again revert me? Yes, it does. Cool. Just wanted to be sure. sword from the old axe. It will take some time. The Elder Dragon was calling for you a while ago, so why don't you go see him? Because I'm tired. The 
deciding battle is now at hand. After receiving the legendary sword from the blacksmith, go to the bell tower at Pearl Pearl Castle and point the sword towards the sky. Emerge victorious and return safely. We're counting on you. Sick. But first, I gotta grind like five, <laughs> four hundred and sixty thousand gold. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Not intentionally, anyway. If it ends up happening and it happens, whatever. Um, 30 gold, yep. Save the adventure, yep. Mm hmm. get our sword. It's finished. Here you go. Legend sword. Flame shield. Flame armor. And ceramic boots. Haha. -ha. Oh. Again? Just kidding. Um... Alright, let's go ahead and uh, head to the final area of the game. I mean, I could potentially beat the game right now. Probably. I don't think it'll go well. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, how much time do we have? Like 10 minutes? 20 minutes? You're really going to go, aren't you? Can't you stay with me? No, you're the legendary hero. You must go. Be sure to come back safely. I'll be waiting right here for you. Yep. There we go, heart container. This might be the place for grinding. Oh. Never mind. They only drop the big gold sometimes. Yeah. I mean, in the volcano, they're dropping it every time. Now this is ripped straight from Wonder Boy 3. Like even... Yeah, even the music. It's using the FM chip. Yeah, the bricks and everything is 8-bit. I, lo I love it. The enemies are obviously the enemies from this game. But uh, how you're supposed to progress... <laughs> wow, that's a lot of gold. Um, I believe it's the same. Slight differences. Um, okay. No, this is the way to grind. Are you kidding me? These guys are dropping like 2,000. Well ones that aren't dropping, uh, magic. Yeah, this is how to grind for money. No doubt. Wow. Uh-huh. I'm 
really not sure if I'm going the right way, but this feels right. treasures to get here. There's the one in that chest. And then the other one I'm not entirely sure how to get. Hey, the legend boots. There we go. I think this just, um has all the abilities of the previous boots. So it's like the ladder boots, the marine boots, the uh... Oasis boots? I can remember the name for a second. Yeah, I need to get up there. There's one more thing here. Turn me tiny? Why? Oh, there's a tiny corridor coming up. That's right. I forgot about that. Unfortunately, the uh, pygmy set is not nearly as powerful. Oh, crap. And I mean, the game was kind of hinting that. You have to duck for the things anywhere. Thankfully the ghosts don't actually cause knockback. I really don't remember why you have to be tiny. here. Do I want to find out? No, there's no door. Okay, full heal. I think I'm supposed to drop down there. armor and heart container. Sick. I think that's the only thing. Yeah, there we go. Makes you big. Because you need to be big for this next part. Oh yeah, see? need the legendary shield, which I don't remember how to get. Okay, poke them in the ankles. Ow. Oh right, if you go left, the room just repeats. 
that's where I am. down. Uh, okay. Okay, I know how to do this. You have to be ready with either Quake or Thunder. I believe you're supposed to do the middle one first. Wait, there's only two. Yeah, I think you're supposed to do the left one first. There it is. Ah, whatever, I don't need that one. There we go. It's the biggest shield in the game, got the best coverage. Bit of a defense bonus. Forgot they do that a boss right before another boss. Dick move, guys. Actually, pretty sure I know what this one is, yeah. Not a big deal. this guy again to get the door back. Thankfully, he's a pushover. If you've, um... Oh my goodness, wow, I suck. castle up like this. Like, put like a boss that respawns right before the hardest platforming challenge. Oh, damn it, in the game. better at this. Oh. 
No! <sighs> Just go down all ready. Thank you. And as you guys may have expected, there's like a real boss fight after this platforming challenge. Which really sucks, because if I remember correctly, there's no way to heal right before the fight. door and like there'd be a secret door right next to the boss door. There's not. Uh, let's go with thunder and power and hope this works out. Probably won't. It's the almighty demon king if you were picturing a weird chipmunk with horn holes in armor in kinda badly cosplaying as a ninja turtle and congratulations you were right <sighs> ah that's right Stop. I mean, I have an elixir that inevitably I'm going to use, but... Good. Well, there it goes. Yeah, you can damage the heads that temporarily kind of incapacitates them. Stop. Oh my goodness, he's still locking me. Stop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. close. I am the Prince of Dark World, and you must be the legendary hero. I was under the control of the Biomega, a deadly creature from outer space. But I'm alright now. Thank you for coming to my aid. Oh, that mysterious barrier is gone. What do you know? Screw that. I'm going back down. Yeah, she says the same thing. I thought she was going to be like, wait, you're back? Yeah, so, uh, aliens. Aliens. Yeah. Because aliens just make every video game better. Every time. It was kind of a thing in the 90s to kind of like unexpectedly put aliens in your video game where maybe they don't fit. Lots of games did it, so... Yeah, I didn't even get to 100k. We have the legendary armor set now. And I th think that means we can, um... I think we can one-shot those guys in Ice World? Which, I mean, as I've already established, is not really the best place for grinding out gold anyway. So I don't even know why I brought that up. But, um... Yeah. Quake and power, I guess.
but um yeah I guess that's where I'm gonna leave this episode then so thank you guys for joining me uh, for part six of Wonder Boy Monster World for the Sega Genesis um aka the Mega Drive and yeah I hope you guys had a good time I know I did I love uh I love revisiting this game it's one of my all time favorites on the platform and just one of my all time favorites in general and look how awesome that shading is on the clouds that is that is good that is straight up good. Anyway, have a beautiful day, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. Be sure to like and subscribe on your way out. And, um, take care. <laughs>